So you have lots of projects yourself. I'm excited to hear about them. Uh, one that I'm worried about is Italy. And I don't know what your exposure is there, but I remember going to the Dino De Laurentiis Food Show. Did anyone go to the Dino De, De Laurentiis Food Show in Manhattan? I am really Times Square, old. late 80s. Late 80s, uh, the big uh, movie producer. Yes. And it crashed Jada's, and burned Jada's in a big old way. Father. Jada's father, yeah. or father. grandfather, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you concerned about that at all with Italy? Of course not. Of course I am. <laughs> no, um, what we're doing is not trying to invent something. We are partners with the guy who owns the original Italy in Torino. And uh, in Torino, it's 100,000 square feet. And it is almost exclusively slow food ideology. There's lots of slogans. There's lots of green. It's actually fueled. It's warmed by using the extra uh, leftover hazelnut shells from the factory that makes Nutella just down the road. So everything about it is right. So all we have to do is not... Fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> but what we're going to be di the way it's going to be different is that inside of this, it's a 50,000 square foot grocery store on 23rd and 5th Avenue. And people say, where's Madison Square Park? I say, it's right across from Shake Shack. <laughs> yeah. it's a seemingly new icon. Yeah. Um, we're inside of this, just like the one in Italy, there um, in Torino, there are going to be five restaurants. And in the fish department, there's a fish restaurant. But it's not a full service fish restaurant. There's like four crudo, four arrosto, four a la piastra. That's it. And then in the vegetable rest in the vegetable area, there will be a vegan vegetarian restaurant that isn't giving up to anything, but it'll be delicious. And there'll be, you know, 20 seats in that restaurant. Then there's a big meat restaurant in the butcher shop. And then there's a grand kind of cappuccino, gelato, panino teca. And then on a roof is an alpine trattoria based on meat and having beer being brewed by a guy named Tail and a guy named Sam Caligioni. From Delaware. From Delaware. Yeah. From Dogfish. Exactly. Dogfish Head Brewery. Dogfish Head. Yeah. So yes, there's a lot of exposure on that because if the restaurants suck, I'm going to look like a dog. But uh, <laughs> I don't think they are because I'm re we're spending a lot of time developing them in the right way with a lot of my team who is ready for a next step. And it'll be interesting to see. I mean, these... 50,000 square feet is a lot, of, a lot of store. So it reminds me of Move and Pick in Toronto and Montreal. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, exactly. Similar in nature to this. And I mean, I think what New York kind of misses, you guys have your magnificent market. We don't necessarily, we used to have like Dina DeLuca and, and uh, Balducci's, and we don't really have that kind of gastronomic tourist destination anymore. Like we used to. And like when you go to Barcelona, you go to the Boca Rio. When you go to London, you either go to Fortnum & Mason or you go to Harrods. When you go- Or Borough Market. Or Borough Market, right, exactly. But I mean, in terms of store, store. And, and we don't really have that right now, except for our magnificent green markets, which are beautiful. All four months of the year, they have something coming out of the ground. So this, I hope, will serve that. And I hope that people will understand that you could just go there and not even buy anything. But we don't want you to do that. <laughs> So going back again to your Paramount uh, time, and I asked you this earlier, but I'm going to ask you again. You had the most romantic notion uh, when you were talked about lo louder That's still. That's my dad back there. All right, dad, we'll you turn the up the hearing aid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a joke, Pops, just a joke. Now, what's your dad? You're I, know, I know my dad's voice. <laughs> um, when somebody asked you at the Paramount Theater, what's next for you, you said you were moving to Rome and opening a trattoria in Rome to give your children the experience that you had when you were growing up. And what's happened with that? Uh, we still own the property, but um, what has happened, oh, not has happened, no, uh, perhaps America's greatest flaw as a culture is that as we grow up, we do not prepare ourselves for the eventual decline in our parents' health. And you guys are great, mom and dad are fine. <laughs> but my in-laws are slowly starting to slow down a little bit and my wife is starting to think about limited resources. So we're not moving until something changes. And that may be that they will say, hey, we're moving to Rome with you guys, which I've kind of thrown on the table. Or that they just need, to, you know, we'll figure it out. So it's not the grand, great plan that I thought it was. It's still a great plan, but it might not be as a reality as right now. That said, we're just going to take a lot more trips now, that's all. <laughs> Make sense? Uh, it does. It does. Let's go back a few years. First time I met Mario, I, was, uh, I walked into the kitchen at Poe restaurant. Woohoo! Uh, yeah. Woo and uh, Mario was back there cooking every dinner with a dish buddy. 
helping him plate uh, salads, right? And, and, uh, salads and desserts was and dishes. Tell me about this new television network that was coming on, and he was going to have a show on there, and was quite excited. And it seems to me that you've come full circle, and you're starting to get another round of shows at this point. You've maybe full circle a few times. Yes. So tell us what's in your TV future at this point. In my TV future right now, I am setting up a production company to do one specific show of my design, which will be uh, about, again, all the way back to me showing people how to cook dishes. Um, it will probably be in either a giant soundstage or a actual rural, semi-rural, all right, not rural at all, but a house in Brooklyn. <laughs> I know Brooklyn sounds like the big city, but there's rural parts of Brooklyn. Trust me. We're not having any dairy cows, but I mean, you know, there's like some yard is what I mean to say when I say rural. Avenue Double A. Yeah, right, exactly. So we're going to do a show that involves, it's kind of like a DIY show. It'll show you how to cook. It'll not like do curtains or anything, but I mean, we'll have three or four or five or six different kind of environments to show people how to, whether they're making salami or make sausage or uh, dry cure meat or, uh, you know, grow vegetables, whatever, all the kind of things that I like to do with the predominant ideology of the show being that of helping people. It's about philanthropy. It's about, it's called Via Alta, which is the high road. And it's about how all these people can come together in what should be one of our primary jobs, which is taking care of other people that may or may not need even help or even identify it. But then we'll have, you know, our odd celebrity like Tom Douglas or Michael Stipe or Richard Branson or the, or the, professor, or the professor of nutrition at Rutgers University. What's wrong with that? That was a good list to be on, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. And, 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 and they'll talk about not necessarily Let's their Let's all new, flip their off Mario. Yes. <laughs> How many people have flipped you off at one time before? Millions. <laughs> 